All right, uh, we're getting in breaking news. Also, Republic TV has accessed uh, the Ranjit Singh Commission report, which named Akshay Kumar based on which the SIT summoned him. Now, this is, of course, an entire report about the sacrilege case. We've gotten down to page 163 of the report. We're putting this out on our screens as well. You come down to the very last line that's been mentioned in this particular report, which has a specific mention to Akshay Kumar. And let me just read out exactly what it says the role of Akshay Kumar in this is. It says that before the grant of pardon to the Dera head, a meeting was held between Mr. Sukhbir Singh Badal and Ram Rahim at the residence of actor Akshay Kumar at Bombay. In this background, Sukhbir Singh Badal met Gurmok Singh uh, and uh, for withdrawing the previous who uh, the excommunicating their head. So this is, of course, the, uh, the the part where Akshay Kumar has clearly been mentioned. It is based on this bit where they say that he actually ensured a meeting between Sukhbir Singh Badal and Ram Rahim that we've seen the SIT summoning him. We've been giving out details also of what the questionnaire is. And if you look through the last question that's been posed by the SIT, it is about whether Akshay Kumar actually, you know, managed and officiated a meet to take place between Sukhbir Singh Badal and as well as uh, Ram Rahim. And what you also have to keep in mind is that while in this report it states that the meeting happened in Akshay Kumar's residence in Mumbai, Akshay Kumar in his defense has said that he has he doesn't know Ram Rahim. He's also said that there is no question of any such meeting taking place. This is the report based on which we're seeing, of course, Akshay Kumar being summoned by the SIT. Once again, let me read out to you exactly what's been mentioned here. It says, before the grant of pardon to the Dera head, a meeting was held between Mr. Sukhbir Singh Badal and Ram Rahim at the residence of actor Akshay Kumar at Bombay. Now, this is the reference to Akshay Kumar in the entire report. In page 163 is where Akshay Kumar has been mentioned. And as per this particular report, as per the Ranjit Singh report, Akshay Kumar actually ensured that meeting took place between Sukhbir Singh Badal and Ram Rahim, thereby ensuring a pardon for the Dera chief. This is the allegation against Akshay Kumar and the response to this, where he's been accused of uh, actually allowing this meet to happen at his residence, not just reaching out to both sides and ensuring that meeting takes place, but also that it happened in his house. He has said that he doesn't know Ram Rahim. That is what he said. Gurpreet, I want to take this across to him as well on this. Gurpreet, you have access the details of this commission report and it is this very page, page 163, that's so very crucial to what's happening today because the SIT summoned Akshay Kumar based on what's said in this report. If you could really break down what Akshay Kumar's defense has been in the face of this. Well, that is the clinching evidence which we have got from the sources that this is the report on the basis of this. SIT has summoned Akshay Kumar because uh, Harbans Jalal, who is an ex-MLA from Rampura Fool in Punjab, he, is, he has given this statement before the commission that in which he has stated that there was a meeting between Akshay Kumar and former Deputy Chief Minister in Mumbai where this uh, about the movie uh, release of uh, this MSG was decided through this connection. So that was the main allegation against the Akshay Kumar and because of that the SIT has summoned it and he has come here to give his statement because the police said that there were allegations against him and it was very important for the SIT to investigate each and every aspect because in the sacrilege incident it has learned from the in investigation that Dera followers were behind this thing and it may be possible there was some deal between Akshay Kumar and former Deputy Chief Minister before releasing this movie because Akal Takht had already given, uh, had put ban on this movie and after that this movie was released in Punjab. Now these were the allegations which Akshay Kumar was facing through this commission report and we were able to access this exclusive report from the commission that how the what was the role of Akshay Kumar, why Akshay Kumar was summoned and that is the very important to tell the viewers that this is the root cause why he has been summoned by the Punjab police and why he was forced to come here in Chandigarh to give his statement that 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 is very important because commission learned from uh, learned from the Jalal that ex-MLA of uh, Rampura Fool, that his role was there, he was present there and there was meeting. Now they, they are asking all these questions why, where this meeting was held, what was the role of Akshay Kumar in this movie. So these all are the allegations but this is the main evidence, this is the main paper on this document. He has been summoned by SIT which we Republic uh, TV Gurpreet, has accessed. But Gurpreet, does there so all these things any are mention going to of Akshay Kumar what is his role allegedly behind the movie? 
because so far as you're saying uh, that the akal takht had banned the movie in punjab but despite that the movie was released across the punjab so this movie when you have akshay kumar what was his exact role other than you know if it's been said in that uh, commission report ranjit singh commission report saying uh, that he uh, probably mediated a meeting between ram singh uh, ram rahim and also the former deputy cm of punjab sukhbir singh badal what is the other role that we are talking about of akshay kumar so that that is what sit is asking him that is what questioning is going on that what was his role because on one side one mla has given in writing to uh, to the commission that there was a meeting and if he wants to deny that on what basis is going to deny as per the top sources in the police they has uh, they said that it was very important to corroborate each and everything because there are serious allegation there were some kickbacks had been exchanged between both the parties but at this point of time they are not revealing any uh, any any details of that so that is the main thing because ajay uh, akshay kumar he used to come here to promote punjabi uh, kabaddi matches and other events in punjab so that's why he used to come here and jalal he has categorically stated in his statement that he has some information that there was a meeting between akshay kumar and uh, dera ram rahim and former deputy chief minister sukhbir singh badal so all these things are saying and all, uh, akshay kumar has already clarified his, uh, his situation that he did not meet he did not arrange any meeting but uh, the sit says that they don't want to go by this public statement they want to record his statement to understand and what was his role and uh, they will further investigate his role because today they are giving him opportunity to record his statement before the sit so that whatever evidence do they have they will corroborate and what is exactly and then that the defense further, has been put up uh, by akshay kumar and sukhbir singh badal because we have seen akshay kumar riding on the social media saying that he has never met Ram Ram Rahim, though he stayed in the same locality in Juhu as he uh, did in Mumbai, uh, but uh, that is the defence that was uh, put forth uh, by Akshay Kumar. Even as we speak, you have the questioning that continues at this point in time, and uh, we'll continue to get track of what's happening inside, the questions being asked, and as far as the investigation by the SIT of the Punjab Police. Agurpreet, uh, thank you very much for the moment.